jumping into one of the settings that everybody's been looking for how to get the fps counter on your gameplay so you're going to go over here to interface you're going to scroll down to this and right here i have a couple checked on i did fps counter server latency and then packet loss that'll look like this all right let's go ahead and jump into the in-game settings all right off the bat display mode should always be on full screen there are a couple of accounts where full screen borderless will help with dev errors but i can assure you that it's not worth the fps hit down here make sure it's on whatever display monitor that you have the display adapter everything right here is pretty straightforward your display resolution is going to be up to whatever your monitor is aspect ratio keep it at automatic v-sync on both the gameplay and the menus turn both of those off now the custom frame rate i will 100 percent recommend this for everybody i have mine at 250 60 and 30 this is going to be personal preference based on whatever your monitor's refresh rate is now i always recommend going 10 over so my monitor refresh rate is 240 so i have my custom at 250 that's just personal preference play around with it but uh, definitely make sure that custom is on and that you don't have it on unlimited. This is going to ensure that your graphics card stays cool and can continuously and consistently push out that high FPS that we're looking for. Now here, display gamma, it's going to be 2.2, pretty standard. Brightness, again, that is personal preference. I play on 50, play around with it. But because we are going to do some AMD filters, like I said, this one, you could just keep it at a straight 50. Focus mode, keep that off. And then, of course, turn off the HDR mode here. Now, moving over to the quality tab. Now, the render resolution should always be 100 for whatever reason, when the game crashes, this has a tendency of changing to either 20, 30, whatever the case may be. Make sure that you always check it before you start any of your games. 100, you'll be able to tell right away because everything will look kind of fuzzy and kind of grainy. Now, this is the game changer, Fidelity Cast. Now, we tried all kinds of different settings. This has been by far the best to keep your FPS high and the game looking really crispy now in, in terms of the strength we tried anything from 60 to 100 is going to be your range there is no huge difference in the 160 in terms of performance so i've been playing with 100 the game looks really crispy For anti-aliasing, we did the SMAA for nearby level of detail, low, texture resolution, normal, texture filter, anastropic, high, particle quality, high, bullet impact sprays off. This is personal preference. It won't impact too much if you want to keep it on. Shader quality, low. Now, tessellation off, on-demand texture streaming. Make sure this is always off. This will revert on quite often and you'll, you'll get that performance dip. Streaming quality, low shadow map resolution low spot shadow quality low make sure these two are always on cache spot shadows cache sun shadows on particle lighting normal ambient occlusion off ssr off post processing effects these are all going to be off depth of field world motion blur and of course weapon motion blur the view is going to be all personal preference i play on 116 it's the same thing that i play on warzone third person is different i play on the highest you can go 90 now, the game has been crashing a lot because of the beta. It's just one of those things. And for whatever reason, all of your settings will probably have changed. Make sure you're coming back into your settings and checking each one of them, specifically the ones that I highlighted to make sure that you don't have crazy dips. And of course, to help out with the crashes as well. All right, let's move on to the AMD settings. First thing, make sure that you're on the current version of the AMD driver 22.9.1. This is going to make sure that you have no issues opening up the beta. All right, there's going to be two things specifically that we're going to do. First off, we're going to go into gaming and we're going to add game. And in order to do this, you're going to have to find the file, the exe version of it. Go to games, Call of Duty. You're going to go to beta. It's going to be this one right here, the exe file. Go ahead and open that and it will add it right here. 
I went ahead and I favored it so that you can see it. It's just gonna make sure that you're able to create a profile for the beta. And this is gonna allow you to change any of the colors. So here it's gonna be a custom profile. I'll go over it really, really quickly. Is super resolution disabled, anti-lag disabled. The chill is also disabled. Image sharpening is always enabled. And this is gonna be personal preference. Anything from 70 to 90 is a good sweet spot. Radon enhanced, you're gonna disable that. Wait for vertical refresh is also gonna be off unless the application specifies. Over here, we're gonna go ahead and enable custom color. We're gonna bring this down to 7,900. The brightness, I like it at three. Personal preference, the hue, I also like it at three. The contrast, I like it around the 128. And the saturation is one that we crank up to about 153. So that's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is go ahead and come over to performance. And we're going to go into tuning. Now this is going to be a little bit more involved. If you do not feel comfortable doing this, I highly recommend that you stop at this and uh, move on to the next portion. And again, I will reiterate that it's only for those of you guys who are comfortable touching anything that requires additional tinkering this these are going to be for you all right this is going to be specifically for those of you guys that have an amd cpu and a gpu you will probably have this option the smart access memory make sure that this is enabled this alone will be an easy 20 to 30 fps in some cases 40 just to make sure that your cpu and your gpu are working simultaneously together if you guys are having a hard time enabling the smart access memory drop a comment down below and we might just make a video on how to go into the bios and what settings to change so that you can make sure that your cpu and gpu are working to its full potential together we're going to go ahead and create a game profile now this is the reason that we added our game we're able to go ahead and add this and we're going to go to custom tuning now here we're going to enable gpu tuning and all of these numbers are going to be specific to whatever your GPU is. Remember, this is all AMD. And what you're going to do for the min is you're just going to do 100 less than whatever your max is. Click out. We're going to apply change just so that we're saving as we go. Now in fan tuning, I recommend that you disable 0 RPM. Enable the advanced control. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply change so that you have full access to the full curve. And you're going to make sure that for the most part, your fans are not, not running less than 50%. Right? So we're just going to make a good little curve. By the time your GPU hits about 60 Celsius, it should already be at 100. This will again ensure that your GPU is cool. We'll hit apply changes. And those are the few things that you would change in performance. All right, last thing we're gonna go through is a couple of window settings, specifically the one that is for graphics. This one's gonna be easy. You're gonna go ahead and type in graphic settings, go in, and then you're just gonna make sure that the beta is under the games included that will run at high performance. This is the only window settings that will make a huge impact to your FPS. And then the last but not least is you're gonna go in to documents, okay? Call of Duty, Players Beta, you're going to open this options IW9. Okay. Now for some of you guys, it might not open right away. It's going to ask you for what application to open it with. Just choose notepad. And the only things that we're going to really focus on are going to be these right here. The video memory scale and the render work count. Now if you guys have played Warzone, you guys know that we have come in here to change these settings frequently. And for AMD users, what you're going to do is you're going to always do half of your core count. Right, so I have 12, so right here we're going to change that to 6, but you will never go below 4. So if you have 4, you would put 4. Now for video memory scale, this is usually defaulted at 0.85. Through a lot of testing, I have noticed that 0.8 is best for my system specifically. I You can increase this, I would not go over 1.2. And what I would recommend, since it is just a beta, use whatever you have. For Warzone. So for me, I have a 0.8 for Warzone. This is the exact same memory scale that I have used for the beta. And I don't crash as often as my counterparts. Uh, but that's just me. And that is my personal preference. What you're going to do after you make your changes, you're going to go ahead and save. Close out. 
And then after you save that file, you're going to go into properties and you're going to make sure that the read only is checked on. This will make sure that none of your settings are changed after crashes. Okay. And you should be good to go. All right, guys, that is it for the settings. Let me know down in the comments below if that helped you, what FPS averages you guys got. And of course, a reminder that we will be live over on Twitch. The link will be in the description to have our community games. You guys have been loving it. And then, of course, I promised you guys that I would be opening up a queue so that you guys can join me in the beta and in the future multiplayer modes. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys out there. Peace, love, positivity. Mwah.